Hello, in this short video we're going to look at the rules of integration. Integration is deriving the original function f of x from its derivative f prime of x. Let's go through the rules. Let's look at the integral of a constant k. So the integral of a constant k is going to equal that constant multiplied by x plus c c is going to be the constant of integration. So some examples. I'm going to take the integral of 10, and we get 10x plus the constant of integration. Let's find the integral of minus 7.5, and we get minus 7.5x. And again, c is just a constant of integration. You'll notice here, one way we can check our answer here, if we were to take the derivative of our integral answer, we would get back the original integrand. So the derivative of minus 7.5x plus c, c is a constant, so that becomes zero. And the derivative of minus 7.5x is just minus 7.5, which we have here in the integrand. The integral of a power function, x raised to the power n, where n does not equal minus 1. Okay, the rule here is given as follows. We're going to add 1 to the exponent. And then we're going to divide that by the exponent plus 1. And then once again, we have this constant of integration. So some examples. I add 1 to the exponent here on the x term. And now I'm dividing through by the exponent plus 1. And that is our result right there. If you were to take the derivative of this result, you'd get back the 2x squared. You'd get 6x squared divided by 3, or 2x squared. Another example here, I'm going to add 1 to this exponent on the x term, and then in the denominator it's the exponent plus 1, simplifies down to the following. You can simplify that a little bit more by multiplying the numerator and the denominator through by 2, and we get this result. Example 3, let's do the integral of x raised to the minus 1 power. That will just simply equal the natural log of x plus c. And some examples. We get this result here. Another example, 3 divided by x is the same thing as 3 multiplied by x raised to the minus 1 power. And that will equal 3 times the natural log of x plus c, the constant of integration. Example 4, the integral of an exponential function. So we have something like this, and here is our rule. Let's do an example. So in this case here, 4, that represents a, and so that's going to be the natural log of a, or the natural log of 4. And this 2 here, that's coming from the k term. So 2x, so we're going to have 2 down here. Don't have to do anything to the numerator, and just add the constant of integration. Another example of rule 4, so in this case here, k is 1, and so we're just left with the following. And finally, the integral of a natural exponential function is going to be given as follows. So one example would be this here. The integral of that is just e raised to the x plus c. Here's another example. We move the 0 0.5 down into the denominator and simplify this a little bit. 8 divided by 0 0.5 is 16, and we're basically done. And as I mentioned earlier, you can check your answers by taking the derivative of your integral answer to make sure it equals the integrand, what we have originally appearing here. So let's just get the integral of 0 0.5x. So doing that, following the rules, uh, the power function rule here going to simplify this down to 0.25x squared plus c. So that's our original function then. If we're to take the derivative of it, the 0.5x, we have what we have under the integrand. All right, I will stop here.